Okay, you're looking at uh, my little creation. It's the world's most inexpensive and most simple diamagnetic levitation kit, and you could build one yourself up here. We have a three-quarter inch neodymium iron boron cylinder for about two dollars. Below here, we actually have a bismuth disc that you can cast on your own stove. This is a little two millimeter neodymium iron boron cube. And let me show you, since you can't get down low enough. See it spinning? Shining a light on it, you get a neat little lighthouse effect. If you use a laser, it's even more fascinating. I just used uh, some breath from some air to do that. I set this up really simply. You can actually make it levitate a little higher than that by another, basically another millimeter. And this is just a simple piece of a 12 gauge copper wire. So we're looking at about $4, $1, and $2. We're looking at about $7. Now, obviously, this is crude. You can make it look more professional than this. Now, this is the universe's most diamagnetic element on Earth. Okay? It's heavier than lead. It's bismuth. Means hates magnetism. Diamagnetic. Up here, we have a three-quarter inch neodymium iron boron cylinder. You see when I actually tap the magnet up here, how the magnet down here bounces? The actual little magnet down here is bouncing. Okay, now you're wondering, how do I melt bismuth? You'll get a chunk of it. You can melt it on your stove. It has to be pure, pure bismuth. How do you get this parabolic shape? It has to be this parabolic shape. What you do is you cut the bottom off of a soda can. You put it aside. This bismuth disc is this right here at the bottom of a soda can. So, you just cut about this much off of a soda can, lay it flat, melt the bismuth on your stove, pour it in here, give it about 10 minutes to cool down, then peel the aluminum <coughs> off of the bismuth disc. And this, folks, is diamagnetic levitation for $7. Cheap as it gets. If you watch the next video, I'll show you something so uh, show you something that no one has ever seen before. Let me pan up so you can see how simple it is. See, there's nothing really there. Obviously, I did this really crudely. So you can take a peek at it, but... Look at her spin, man. Look at that spinning. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, drop me a buck or two. Tell me to jump off a cliff. See, there's nothing there. You have three different fuel modalities competing with the levitation of this little magnet. The diamagnetism of the bismuth disk, gravitational acceleration from the Earth, and dielectric acceleration from the magnet up above it or what the common idiot would refer to as magnetic attraction. So, gravity, diamagnetic bismuth, and dielectric acceleration. So those three field modalities in perfect harmony equal a levitating magnet. Thanks for watching. Bye.